here. 9-11, 9-12. We've got undecided for the Dodgers, of course, at plus 130. And then the Padres are pitching Dylan Cease, who is pitching on three days rest for the first time in his career at minus 145. Total of eight with some juice to the under at minus 115. I mean, this series has been crazy, Corby. We saw the second inning yesterday, ton of runs, all this crazy stuff, and then nothing the rest of the game. Now the Dodgers are, it's, they're essentially trying to hold on to Flaherty and Yamo for game five. So they're essentially just going to do a bullpen game. That's what Dave Roberts said in his press conference last night. Of course, now you have Cease on three days rest. He's never done that before in his career. What are we doing with this one, Corby? Dodgers, Padres. Yeah, it's an interesting spot. I talked about yesterday. I think the Dodgers bullpen is uh, really good. So I, I don't worry about a bullpen day as much here. I would be curious who takes the bulk of that bullpen day. Um, it's going to be a tough spot. Dylan Cease is good. Like, Dylan Cease's stuff breaks so much that it, like I think there are people that have bigger issues with like uh, shorter rest, and I imagine that he's one. Um, I really hope the Dodgers win. I have the Dodgers to win the championship, but they, I mean, they just don't look good. Um, I, I'm going to have a play here, and then I'm going to live button the start of my steals parlay. So I'll do the steals thing after y'all talk about this. But the first side I'm going to go with is Freddie Freeman under half of a run plus RBI and prop builder minus 130. If you watched that game yesterday, like Freddie's hurt. Like, I mean, he made a terrible throw to second. He was on his knee. Uh, he can't put any weight on his ankle. He had to jump to catch a ball from second base, landed on first base pad, could barely run off the field. So, like, how many situations is he scoring a run? <laughs> I don't I don't think many. Um, how often is he going to drive in a run? That's, also like, obviously possible. Uh, but this is the best angle that you could take on the idea that Freddie is hurt and he's going to play because he uh, isn't going to miss the last game of, of their possible season. So, Freddie Freeman under half a run plus RBI minus 130. <laughs> And Kenny, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat box saying this is done. Padres win. Dodgers no shot. Can the Dodgers afford another collapse like this? A losing game in four games. Can Dave Roberts afford this again? This is a wild spot. I don't know what to expect here. This game, I mean, the Dodgers have got to be nervous as hell. I think every pitcher is going to have a short leash. But then you flip this over. I'm not sure I love Cease on three days rest. This should be Musgrove pitching today. Of course, he got hurt. In his first start, left the game early. It's going to be a shy. Cease's strikeouts are at four and a half, which you're never going to see, right? And the unders juiced a little, if I remember right. It was like minus 120 because that was the first thing I looked at. Um, I got to say, I don't know what the hell to do with this game, but I don't love the fact that Cease is going on three days rest. I think the Dodgers find a way to pull this out, but uh, everyone in the chat box, they're saying this is over and the Dodgers got no shot. What are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I don't know if I see it that way. I think you, you you have two teams with, again, pretty crazy high upside offenses that can just pop off for, for 10 runs really, really at any time here. And again, seesaw and seesaw on short rest. The problem is we don't really know who's going for who's going for the Dodgers. I'm seeing Landon Knack as a, as a potential starter here. Are you guys seeing any potential starter for, for the Dodgers yet or is it still undecided? It's, he said full bullpen game, and so I think Landon Knack would probably get some bulk innings there. You're probably going to – God, who else is going to throw some bulk innings? It almost has to be. Is Gavin Stone, once, is he even on the roster for this series? Someone I like don't that? Believe so. Yeah. My thought it's, would be uh, Knack, Daniel Hudson, who I believe at one point – uh, was a starter. Uh, Kopech has shown that he can go two innings. So I, it, Kopech pitched last night, so I can't imagine it's him. Um, but Dude, if, he looked if he looked unhittable last night, man. I mean, he, when he when he when that's when when that slot when that slider is on, man, I don't know how anybody ever makes contact. There was a there was an argument yesterday that uh, he's not he's not uh, a great piece of that bullpen. I think that he's, he's probably incredible. one of the best closers in all of baseball. Like it, like from watching it, you're like Jesus Christ. You could I could tell you a pitch was coming and you would have no chance. So there's two spots in this game uh, I'm, I'm debating on on live clicking here. Like, look, I know he hasn't been all that great, but like, I mean, Shohei at three to one for a home run. I mean, that's like that's the best price you've probably seen on him this entire season. It's now or never. He's got good numbers against Cease, five of seventeen with three home runs. And Shohei's a guy I don't really care about the matchup. Like, he probably has good history against everybody because all he does is go up there and hits millions of home runs. So Otani home run at three to one. Might be the best number I've ever seen. So that I'm debating clicking that. And then the only other Dodger bat that I think there's there's some value on, like Gavin Lux, two total bases is like plus 250. He's going to be batting sixth. 
again, also has good numbers against C's, has good numbers against righties in general, and has just been swinging a hot bat since the All-Star break here. So I, I do think if you have any faith in the Dodgers to produce tonight, one, uh, I mean, Shohei probably does something, and then I think get, they have to get something out of Gavin Lux. So I, I'm not going to click anything just yet. I want to see what you guys do. But those are the two two names I'm, I'm thinking about doing something with here, Otani and Lux. Yeah, Otani and Lux, big-time game. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight for purposes of the show. Can't, or Corby is going to take Freddie Freeman under a half a run in RBI at minus 120. We know he's hurt. He's been hurt this whole series. And then, uh, and that's it. That's what we're locking in. You didn't lock, add anything live to this, did you, Kenny? Sorry, I was, I was chatting no, no, in the back. Just, Corby, no, you have did. something else you wanted to add? Yeah, a couple of things. First off, who would, I don't know this off the top of my head. I, I probably should since I'm talking on a, on a baseball show. Um, who would play first base if Freddie's out? I have, uh, I have, I have no clue. Um, just like looking through the interwebs, it's someone who's not currently on the roster. I would be curious um, because like, I, I think there's an opportunity like Freddie thinks he's hurting the team more and, and doesn't play this game. And if he doesn't play this game, like it's going to change up this order a ton. Gavin Lux was taking some really quality at bats last night. So I do uh, agree with Kenny's idea there. But I think this is the perfect opportunity. And the reason I, I stop us is to get my steals parlay. Out of the out of the way because okay. the first we're, leg... we're gonna start the Q and A right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going okay. to Q and A right now. Perfect timing. That's so we're locking cool. your Freddie Fruman minus one twenty. Let's get to your parlay. I have good news for you. My parlay is five seventy seven to one, Correct. plus fifty seven thousand seven hundred. So it's for five hundred and seventy seven units. I just want you to know that. 